that our church is pro-life and we support pro-life ministries, right? Yes, ma'am, we do know that. Okay. All right, but we're not, not pro-life, we're abolitionists. We believe in making it illegal. Pro-life so is having a good moral, no, ma'am. Yes, we do. That's not true, ma'am. Yes, pro-lifers regulate and no. treat it as health care. We believe in the abolition of abortion. Okay, that's great. Yes, that's great. But so now let me ask you, what does your Christianity look like? What are you doing to abolish abortion? Voting. If you actually believe that. Voting for the people that believe the same way we do. Which is right, which is pro-life politicians. Well, that's the only choice we have. Oh, no, it isn't, ma'am. Well, you're protesting us is the wrong thing to do. We're not protesting you, ma'am. We're calling you to repent. We, we're not guilty. We're calling you to... You are guilty, ma'am. And that's the bad thing, is that you actually think you are okay in the sight of God because you have a good moral opinion. No. Because your answer to abortion is, oh, I vote every four years. What, I'm asking... What are you doing about it besides protesting us? Oh, actually, ma'am, we do quite a lot. What? Okay? What? We go to the churches. We go to the abortion clinics. We go to the schools. We go to the town squares. Do you believe the same thing? No, I didn't ask you what you believe, ma'am. You can have a good moral opinion. All right, but when you stand before God, yeah, ah, they're only killing 3,000 a day, ah, right? What's the matter with you? What's the matter is, it's not with me, ma'am, it's with your heart, you're apathetic. 